I had just got out of college and I came down to New York looking for Sonny because I had the records. And Sonny at the time was, he was in Chicago. So I kept asking everybody, where's Sonny Rollins? So I knew Charlie Rouse. I used to hang out with Charlie Rouse and we were walking down Edgecombe Avenue and who comes walking down the street but Sonny Rollins. Rouse said, oh man, look, there's Sonny Rollins. What? So that's the first time I met him. Then another time there was a drummer by the name of Danny Sparks. And we were up there just playing, you know. And there was a doorbell ringing. Man, that's Sonny Rollins. I said, oh shit. <laughs> just the whole complete package. The rhythm. And there was nobody playing like that on tenor. I was uh, a Lester Young fan. But man, when I heard Sonny Rollins, I couldn't believe it. You know, I just couldn't believe that the horn, the presence. And I remember my cousin used to come to New York. I lived upstate. And he'd come back with these records. And I was wondering, he had Bud Powell, and he had Sonny Rollins. And man, I said, who is that? I think the, um, of course, the things with Miles, and then when Sonny came back from Chicago and joined Max's group, his plan had changed a little bit. Then it had changed. Because I remember Sonny playing No Business Like Show Business, and he plays the verse. And I'd never heard the verse. I remember asking him about that. And uh, I think that his playing had moved into a more personalized, even though there was nobody that I feel could play the language of Charlie Parker in his own way than Sonny. Just on the uh, recording that Miles did with Sonny Rollins and Charlie Parker. And uh, that was a, a revelation that Sonny was, man, that's Charlie Parker. And Sonny was playing, you know, at that level. He's got a, he's got a great, great uh, sense of humor. And he likes to joke. You know, he's, I remember, <laughs> He told me one time, because I used to go over to the Baroness and see Monk. Monk was like kind of in seclusion there. So Sonny said to me, ask Monk whether he's a country boy or a city boy. So me, dumb me, I asked Monk that, and I could see that Monk was mad. <laughs> so when I talked to Sonny again, I said, you got me, man. <laughs> and he laughed. So you know, Monk always liked to play jokes on people. Yeah, I was moving and I had, uh, actually I was moving from, I lived in Coney Island from one bungalow to the other. So Sonny says, uh, you got some heavy stuff to move, you know, I'll help you. And I said, come on, I didn't. Man, he comes with the gloves and helped me move. I say, what? You know. So he'd do things like just, uh, you wouldn't believe. I remember when he was in Grand Street, he had the Christmas tree in July. From, 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 from uh, December. 
So I said, Sonny, man, you know, man, this Christmas tree has been around here a long time. You know what you told me? He says, well, Paul, every day is Christmas. 